Imagine standing at the North Pole one day and waking up a few centuries later to find the ice cap at the equator. That's the dramatic image behind rapid pole shift ideas. The notion that Earth's spin axis might have jumped suddenly, flipping the planet's geography in the blink of a geological eye. But did it really happen? What's a pole shift anyway? First, we need to separate two different shifts. Magnetic pole shifts are flips of Earth's magnetic field, where north and south magnetism swap, something scientists know happens every few hundred thousand years. True polar wander is the slow reorientation of the planet's solid shell, the crust and mantle, relative to its spin axis. Think thousands of miles of crust sliding under the fixed poles. Most dramatic rapid pole shift stories mix these up with a sudden catastrophic reorientation of the entire planet, crust, mantle, and all within human timescales. So has Earth ever really tipped over quickly? Could the crust slip suddenly over the core? Question, what would it take for our planet's outer shell to break free and swivel? Answer, an enormous redistribution of mass. Maybe from massive ice sheets melting huge floods or mantle upheavals, strong enough to overcome friction and gravitational restoring forces. But the physics say this can't happen overnight. The Earth's outer layers are too viscous and tightly coupled to the inner layers. Any shift takes millions of years, not minutes or centuries. What about magnetic pole reversals? Aren't they fast? Magnetic field flips do occur relatively swiftly in uh, in a few thousand years or even less in some episodes. During those times, compass needles would go haywire and protective magnetic shielding would weaken, letting more cosmic radiation reach the surface. But these flips say nothing about Earth's actual geographic poles moving. Have there been rapid true polar wander events? Geologists see signs that over the past billion years, Earth's solid shell has reoriented by up to 30 de degrees. But these changes span tens of millions of years. The planet's spin axis remains essentially fixed in space while the crust drifts very slowly around it. No credible evidence supports a flip happening within a few human generations. Why, then, do rapid shift myths endure? Stories of ancient cataclysms, sudden floods, or mythic upheavals can be gripping, and they often get conflated with real scientific terms. But modern geology, seafloor spreading studies, and paleomagnetism all point to gradual movements. If a rapid, apocalypse-level shift had occurred, we'd see dramatic scars in the rock record. Fault lines tearing continents apart, mass extinctions aligned in time, and upheaved mountain ranges formed overnight. We do see plate tectonics and mass extinctions, but they play out on timescales of millions, not mere thousands of years. So what's the takeaway? While Earth's magnetic poles flip fairly often and its crust slowly reorients over eons, there's no hard science behind a sudden civilization-ending tilt of the planet's spin axis. Our world's steady spin has been remarkably stable for billions of years, no cosmic spin-out required. Instead, we can marvel at plate tectonics, magnetic mysteries, and the grand choreography that shapes continents and climates over geological time. One gradual step at a time. There are two types of pole shifts discussed in Earth science, geomagnetic pole shifts and true polar wander. Geomagnetic pole shifts involve the magnetic north and south poles reversing which happens irregularly over hundreds of thousands of years. True polar wander, TPW, on the other hand, involves the solid Earth rotating relative to its spin axis, effectively shifting the geographic poles. While magnetic reversals are well-documented, rapid TPW remains controversial and debated. It's crucial to distinguish between changes in the magnetic field and shifts in the planet's orientation in space. Example, the last geomagnetic reversal occurred about 780,000 years ago, Brunhes Matuyama reversal, but the geographic poles remain stable. Analogy, it's like a spinning globe where the internal compass flips, 
but the physical poles stay put. True polar wander is a real geophysical process caused by mass redistribution within the Earth, such as mantle convection or large-scale ice melting. Over millions of years, TPW can result in the Earth's crust shifting around the mantle, altering the position of the geographic poles. Geological records, such as paleomagnetic data from rocks, support episodes of slow TPW in Earth's history. However, the rates involved are generally considered to be a few degrees per million years. The question remains whether much faster shifts within centuries or less have occurred. Example, TPW of approximately 30 dg is inferred to have occurred between 800-600 million years ago during the Neo-Proterozoic. Analogy, it's like a rotating orange with uneven internal mass slowly adjusting its peel to balance rotation. Some fringe hypotheses suggest that Earth's rotational axis has shifted dramatically over a short time, within centuries or even days. These ideas are often tied to cataclysmic models involving asteroid impacts, crustal displacement, or internal mass redistribution. Proponents argue that such shifts could explain ancient myths of sudden climate change and flood legends. However, these theories lack solid geophysical support and are not widely accepted in mainstream science. <laughs> Earth's rotational inertia makes rapid large angular axis shifts extremely unlikely without massive external torque. Example, Charles Hapgood's Earth crust displacement theory suggested rapid pole shifts, a concept even Einstein found intriguing, though it lacked empirical support. Analogy, it's like claiming a spinning bowling ball could suddenly tip sideways from a minor bump it defies conservation of angular momentum. Large-scale geological structures like mantle plumes and supercontinents exert forces that can drive long-term TPW. As these masses shift over time, they change Earth's moment of inertia, leading to reorientation of the solid Earth relative to the spin axis. These changes are gradual, governed by mantle viscosity and plate tectonic timescales, such processes contribute to the movement of continents and climate zones over tens to hundreds of millions of years. They support slow, not rapid, polar migration. Example, the assembly and breakup of the supercontinent Rodinia may have contributed to TPW over a tilde 200 million year time scale. Analogy, it's like watching a giant iceberg drift slowly on the ocean noticeable only over long periods. While geographic pole shifts are rare and slow, geomagnetic field changes can be surprisingly rapid. Magnetic excursions, temporary flips, or weakening of the magnetic field can occur over just hundreds to thousands of years. These do not involve changes in Earth's physical orientation, but they can affect radiation exposure and animal navigation. Magnetic records from lava flows and sediments provide strong evidence of such events. Still, they should not be confused with changes in Earth's axial tilt or rotational orientation. Example, the Landchamp event, Tilte, 42,000 years ago, was a geomagnetic excursion where magnetic north reversed temporarily. Analogy, it's like a compass needle flipping direction while the compass itself remains stationary. Modern satellite data show that rapid ice melt due to climate change is causing minor shifts in the geographic poles. As ice mass is redistributed, especially from Greenland and Antarctica, the Earth's center of mass shifts slightly. This results in a slow drift of the spin axis measurable in centimeters per year. These are real but small pole shifts unrelated to catastrophic pole shift claims. The mechanism involves post-glacial rebound and changes in angular momentum balance. Example, since 2000, Earth's spin axis has shifted eastward at about 10 cm slash year due to Greenland ice loss. Analogy, it's like shifting your weight in a canoe. The boat tilts slightly, but doesn't flip over. Some researchers speculate that abrupt environmental changes like younger dry ass cooling or mammoth extinctions might hint at sudden pole shifts. However, these events can typically be explained by regional phenomena like ocean current disruptions, volcanic eruptions, or impact events. There's no direct paleomagnetic or geological evidence linking them to rapid pole reorientation.
Climate variability is real and sometimes abrupt, but it doesn't require Earth's axis to tilt. Extreme events need not imply extreme planetary movement. Example, the Younger Dryas tilled 12,900 years ago was likely caused by meltwater disrupting the Atlantic circulation, not a pole shift. Analogy, it's like blaming an air conditioning failure on the Earth changing direction. It's a misattribution of cause. The Earth's rotation is stabilized by its equatorial bulge, a consequence of centrifugal force. The mass distribution creates a strong restoring force that resists large-scale shifts in orientation. Mathematical modeling shows that significant rapid axis shifts would require enormous torques, such as from planetary collisions. Even massive earthquakes or glacial isostasy cause only minute adjustments in Earth's rotational axis. The conservation of angular momentum heavily constrains how fast Earth's spin axis can move. Example, the 2004 Sumatra earthquake shifted the Earth's axis by only about 2.5 centimeters. Analogy. It's like trying to knock a gyroscope off axis with a feather. It's simply too stable. While Earth's axis and magnetic poles do shift over time, the rates are generally slow and well understood. Rapid global axis flips, as proposed in some pseudoscientific theories, are physically implausible. The uniformity of paleoclimate, geology, and celestial mechanics supports long-term stability. Ongoing research into TPW mantle dynamics and ice mass loss will refine our understanding of Earth's orientation changes, but barring a planetary scale impact, rapid pole shifts remain more myth than science. Example, NASA and IRS International Earth Rotation and Reference System Service monitor polar motion constantly. No drastic shifts have ever been recorded. Analogy, it's like checking a clock every second. If it ever skipped an hour instantly, we would notice.